Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to be showing you how I turn boxes really that you might already have into Christmas ornaments or decorations. So I like to use vintage boxes or vintage style. So this is one that I'm going to be using today along with the Tunnix Tea Cake box. But I just wanted to show you the kind of thing that I want to achieve. And this is one that I made last year. I don't think I ever showed this on my channel. And this is made from an old Christmas ornament. So it's a vintage ornament box. And you can see it says glass ornaments here. And this was actually my Nan's box. And these were two of the ornaments that were were in there you can see them here and they've got this metal clasp and they're actually glass and I just love the vintage ones and this is very much my kind of I like the kitsch red white and green Christmas that's how my house is decorated so this one here actually hangs on a door you could obviously hang it anywhere but it does stand really nice as well and you can see there it's the whole box and basically I've used the aperture where there was this acetate it was very old it was already ripped across the front and then you just start to create a scene and I, I like these they, they can also be like little keepsake things you might have maybe a slightly broken ornament or something that maybe your child's made or just something that you just don't know why but you just like it you don't know where to put it you can kind of do that with these so I'll show you another this was a shadow box that I did make last year and this is actually on the my youtube channel and again, you can see I've got lots of vintage bits and pieces along the bottom there. And I love these kind of Christmas trees. And then I cut the Merry Christmas on my Cricut machine. And this one actually lights up if I just, I think I need to replace the batteries, but yeah, it's just, there's very, very thin lights going around, but there's lights all the way around. And again, I'll link that tutorial up here. So that, this one here is actually made from scratch. I made the box and everything. But I saw this box here, which is the Tunic Snowballs, Coconut Snowballs, they're delicious. And I just fell in love with the box. So although the box isn't officially a vintage, it's a vintage style. And I just thought I need this. I want it to be a Christmas decoration. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I've got everything still in here, but you can see they've kept it just like they used to make the old boxes. And this is just the kind of dividers that would have been in the Christmas ornaments. So there's 36 of these absolutely delicious coconut and marshmallow, fill, marshmallow filled treats so I'm going to take all of these out and then I'm going to show you how to make that into something like that okay so this is how it looks on the back I'm not too worried about that you, you know you're not going to see it but I love all of this on the side it's got some really nice advertisement and all up there as well so what you want is the lid and without being too precious I'm literally going to cut up each of the corners Okay, and then you could just wedge it back in, but because this is a lid already, it's already got a bit bigger. So I'm gonna take off any bolts. I'm gonna take off these bits here, here and here. And then I'm actually going to cut these all off as well. Nice and neat, because you're gonna use all of this. You're just gonna piece it back together inside, but we will need to take a little bit off of this one for it to fit in that base. Okay, so now this one here, yeah, see it's a bit big, so I'm just going to grab my trimmer, okay, and I'm just going to tidy up the edges. I'm going to be covering this with lights and tinsel and everything, so it's going to get quite full. I don't want to lose too much of the image, but um, yeah, again, I'm not too worried. But if just get that in there, see that fits in there perfectly now. So that's going to go inside. And then again, I will just tidy up the edges. Okay, so you can see now they're all in there. They're a little bit shorter on some sides, but again, it's all going to get covered. Now, I'm not going to put acetate over this. If you wanted to, then you can. You could do a casing with it and do a kind of a trim to hold it all together, but I'm going to keep this open. I'm still going to have the lights in it and everything, but I'm going to get all these stuck down now with the Kalau glue because it's going to, you know, just once it dries, it will be very, very strong. Okay, so there is my box now ready for me to decorate. Now I'll quickly just show you, because I'm going to put the rest of the video on high speed when I do all the decoration, but this is the Tunnix Tea Cake box, so I've eaten all of the um, treats, and what I want to do is just take out the acetate. Now if you want to leave it in there and decorate everything inside, then by all means, but I, I'm going to take it away, because again, I want this to be an open little box. So I'm going to cover this here, but everything else I'm going to keep as it is. And then I'm just going to glue that down. I'm going to put a tinsel all around this. So again, I'm not too worried. And I'll make my holes at the top. You can do that once it's all done. 
and I'm just going to seal that shut and you'll start to see me decorate that one as well and I'm going to be using my hot glue gun I'm going to put something in the back there again don't glue that shut if you would find it easier to put things in but I'm quite happy being able to just post things well, post things but pop things through there um, it will be fine so I will show you quickly the kind of things I'm going to be using okay so I have a very big bag full of things and I put it all away in a plastic tub at the end of Christmas so I just bring it out each year so I've got some polystyrene like snow balls there I've got the faux snow as well which I'll be using. Things like this are really good. I pick them up in like pound shops and you can see the thin skinny tinsel and I'll be, I've got some more of that. I've got these little balls here, gingerbread men, Christmas lights, lots of bells so I always keep them because they're good for decorations. And things like this, these little bags of, um, I can't remember where I got them from but they're just nice little fillers. I've got some funny little, actually I'm going to put them with my card making stuff because they're really cute. I've got lights here but I've also got those new ones that I shared. These are just the rice lights so I'll be using those. But for the Tunnock's Tea Cake I'm going to be using these lights. This is actually a necklace and I picked this up. I shared it not too long in a what did I get. But it's going to be really, really easy to connect in there and then you just pop it on. And you can see you can get different effects. So I'm going to just go for that one where it just keeps them on all the time. It's only every two that light up but I might mix in some of the other rice lights as well. I've got a plastic candy cane there which I'll use. I've got these doilies which are old Christmas scene and they're nice to maybe put on the back of things. I might line the back of the Tannix tea cake with that possibly or sheet music. Old Christmas sheet music is really nice. This one here is Christmas magic. I might have that right in the back and then build up everything around it. I've got pink bits of Christmas tree here from an old Christmas tree. I've got some polystyrene glittery stars there. I've got those mini crackers. You basically fill it with anything. The things I like are these here. I've got little wreaths. These are the old, we used to have these little um, presents on our Christmas tree when we were younger. Like, they're very 80s to me, that's what I remember there. I've got all those Christmas trees. I picked these up off of Amazon. I'll be using a lot of them because I really like them. And then, I don't know how much you can see, but in here are all my vintage Christmas balls for decorations. So these are the ones that I love. I love these ones here. You see the plastic on them? They're more like 70s, 80s. But I've got some metal glass ones in there as well. So that's what I'm going to be now using to decorate these boxes. And uh, yeah, I'll show you them when they're all finished.
so I finished both of them and they are totally over the top, somewhat vulgar, very kitsch, tacky, colourful, but they make me smile and bring me joy. So I'm very happy and they're, they're going to look great. So I'll pop the lights on here. So I've got two lots in there. So I could just have the, that's the white, cold white. And then if I turn that one off, that's just the colour, you know, the multicoloured ones. So I'll have them both on together. I think it looks brilliant. What I tried to do is have the coconut word show and then the snowball one on the bottom, but it's all on the sides here and you see all of this. So I really wasn't too worried, but it is, there's kind of a nod to it inside. But if I just bring it up there, I mean, there's so much going on, but it looks really cool. I love it. It's just like, you know, just your knickknacks. I mean, my, my original one's got knickknacks. Now it's just more kind of bits I've just collected to, to, you know, use in these boxes. And I've got these bells that hang down really nicely as well. So that's that one. And then this one, I was my original kind of idea with it, with it was to obviously have everything in there, which it still is, but you would have seen me cut into the frame because the frame was just too thick. So I cut into it, made it thinner, kept the milk chocolate along the top so I like that, and then I've gone over that raw edge with this little skinny tinsel. Then I was just kind of playing around with what was going to work in there, and then I ended up going for the colours that kind of went with the box and then just added in green and you know we've got gold and stuff in there but I just I put blues I mean I've got a tiny bit there but I just didn't want that to overtake the red and the the yellow really and um again I think it's turned out really nice I love the Christmas magic I wanted to get rid of the for organs I think it said in there music for organs so I'm you know I wasn't bothered about that but also I've got this tiny little bit of bead trim just in there and that hangs down as well so that looks really nice got the little handle there and then you see everything on the side again just very cute so this one's probably going to hang in the hallway and uh, this one will go probably in my dining room area I'll have a little look but I love them I just enjoyed it watched a movie and uh, yeah lots of fun so I hope it's given you some inspiration um, I can't wait to see any of the ones that you make over on the Mixed Up Crafters Facebook group I'll link that below it's a really nice group full of so many lovely people so come along and join in the fun if you would like to and I'll be back again very soon with another tutorial thanks for watching bye